Oh yeah, that's a, that's a fine Manhattan. <laughs> so I watched this movie the other night called The Blue Gardenia. It's film noir from 1953. A thriller drama directed by the famous Fritz Lang and starring Anne Baxter, Raymond Burr, and Richard Conti. Even Superman from the TV series George Reeves is in it. The script is based on a novel by Vera Caspery. So the basic synopsis here is that Nora Larkin, played by Ann Baxter, is deeply distraught that her boyfriend plans to marry another woman. Alone on her birthday, Nora decides to go out on a date with a playboy by the name of Harry Preble, played by Raymond Burr. Over dinner, Harry gets Nora drunk on Polynesian Pearl Diver cocktails. Never seen a Polynesian Pearl Diver before? Not served as a drink. I think she had about six of them over the course of dinner. Later, Harry takes the drunken Nora to his apartment and, and tries to force himself on her. As Nora struggles, she defends herself with a fireplace poker and breaks a big old mirror and, and then she faints. When Nora wakes, uh, she flees the scene, leaving behind her black suede pumps and returns home in the pouring rain. In the morning, Nora is pretty hungover and she doesn't remember anything as to the events of the previous night, not the confrontation she had with Harry Preble and certainly not the startling discovery she reads in the newspaper that Harry has been murdered. Got him with a poker. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> the blue gardenia of the title was actually a tiki lounge where the fateful date goes wrong. Oh, and guess who's providing the evening's entertainment in the movie? None other than Nat King Cole singing Blue Gardenia. Blue Gardenia, now I'm alone with you, and I am oh so blue. Hmm. So, after watching this movie, I thought to myself, I gotta make me one of these Polynesian pearl divers. Not that I want to commit murder or anything. <laughs> However, some nights work in bar, let me tell you. <laughs> First thing I'll tell you about the Polynesian Pearl Diver is that it's a Dawn Beach cocktail. So, you know it's going to take some work to make this thing. What I discovered is that the drink requires Dawn's Gardenia Mix. <laughs> what the heck is Dawn's Gardenia Mix? Well, one of the ingredients in that mix is a liqueur made from allspice, pimento liqueur. Wouldn't you know it, I can't get that where I live. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm just gonna have to make my own. <laughs> I think it was Harry Preble's philosophy on Tiki. He said in the movie that these aren't really drinks. They're trade winds across cool lagoons. They're the Southern Cross above coral reefs. They're a lovely maiden bathing at the foot of a waterfall. After hearing those lines, I just couldn't resist making one. Okay, let's do it. But you know, because this is such a complicated cocktail, we're going to spread this out over a number of days. So, let's get started with part one and make Bruce's Allspice Dram. Yeah. Okay, today we're going to make allspice dram, or a pimento liqueur, pimento dram, <laughs> call it what you want. Allspice dram is a simple liqueur flavored with allspice berries. It's also known as pimento dram because allspice is a berry from the pimento tree. Allspice dram adds a dark, strong and spicy counterpoint to uh, rum and sweet ingredients in tiki drinks. It's an aromatic, flavorful liqueur that's going to take a little bit of time to make. So uh, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is allspice. That's what it takes. I've got a quarter cup here. I'm going to use my little uh, coffee grinder. And we want to grind this to a, uh, a really quite a coarse grind. Take a look. Whoa. <laughs> that looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to dump that in my pot here. Sweet. Now, you could make your allspice dram 
just with allspice. And I love allspice. Holy crap, the smell is gorgeous. I get a lot of cloves. I get nutmeg, a hint of cinnamon, maybe even some ginger. I guess that's why they call it allspice, because it's, it's all spices combined. So to this mix, I thought we'd accent it up. Like I said, you could just make your pimento uh, liqueur just with this. But I thought a little bit of cinnamon, because I'm not smelling that much cinnamon. So I've got one, a one inch piece of cinnamon, drop it in. I've got a star anise, drop it in. I've got some uh, cacao nibs. I'm just gonna crack those up. There we go. And drop those in. I love cacao nibs. <laughs> That's raw chocolate. The rawest form of chocolate you can buy. And I thought too, maybe a little bit of vanilla. All right? So let's uh, slice this vanilla bean here, without slicing my fingers, of course, and scrape out all these wonderful beans, seeds, I guess, <laughs> all these seeds. That's, oh, geez, I love it. Look at that, look at that. That is gorgeous. Drop that in there. Don't you love vanilla? <laughs> it's so pricey, but it just tastes awesome. I love vanilla. Looking good. Good looking. Okay, to this mix, we're going to add Bacardi 151 proof rum. You know, you can't get this anymore. So if you've got some kicking around, use Bacardi 151. If you don't, uh, you can use your favorite rum. Use a white rum, a light rum, uh, even an amber rum, of course. Um, I was considering using the uh, Plantation uh, Three Stars, but then, meh, I thought, let's use Bacardi 151. It's gonna extract all those wonderful spices. We want one and a quarter cups. Well, look at that. <laughs> Somebody pour me a drink. I thought it would pour, 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 pour. It's like gloggity, gloggity, glog. What the hell? There's a cup. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Coming on a flat train. And a quarter. Beauty. And what we're going to do is we're just going to heat this up. So all we want to do is bring this to a rapid boil, turn it off our heat. Oh, it looks like I'm there, pretty much. Okay, I'm there. Turn it off, put it on a hot plate, pop a lid on, and let's wait maybe, I don't know, five minutes. So it's been five minutes now and we've been steeping our uh, wonderful uh, little blend, our spice uh, mix, really, we've made a tea, a spicy tea with allspice berries as our primary uh, ingredient. Oh, look at that, smell that. You can smell what I smell. Let's get rid of this. Maybe I'll just uh, pour it right into this mixing glass here. You wanna pour it all in, berries and all. Yeah. And we're just going to uh, pop it in this sterilized jar here. It smells delicious. Pop everything in there. And all we do is seal it up and give it a little shake. And uh, what you want to do is just keep this uh, on your cupboard. You can keep it in, under the cupboard, keep it, keep it quiet. And every day, you want to shake it up for two weeks. I know it's a little uh, time consuming, but it's going to be worth it. You wait and see. So 
I will see you for part two. All right, I'm gonna go store this now. <laughs> Cheers. Going for it all. Let's do it all. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and to this mix, we have uh, Appleton 12 year old. I got my gold here. <laughs> Look at this baby. Uh, this is a uh, allspice dram, a uh, pimento liqueur. It's gonna take me two weeks before we go to the next step. But uh, in the meantime, hit the subscribe button and check the other videos out. And uh, I'll see you then. <laughs>